Welcome to the majestic homelands of Utah. We've made it to a green space and I feel so happy. I was feeling a bit dry like a prune. Pop said, we still have an entire sand dune inside our bus. Azalea is a bit zombie mode. <laughs> Tonight I made for Azalea and I some peppers, some zucchini and black beans and quinoa. Delicious. For the last few days we have been coming from, let's see, Colorado Springs into Buena Vista, Colorado where the sand smacked us really good. And then we moved on into the south kind of area of Utah. We've been exploring Moab for the last week, rock climbing and adventuring Orchards National Park which is amazing, so beautiful and just like magnificent. It makes you feel small and just like brings you back into this like place in the world that is just like a friendly reminder of how magical life can be and also how incredible mother nature is and the power of nature and all that kind of stuff it was just really beautiful and utah has been on my list for the longest time so finally now be here in utah it just feels so majestic and we literally pulled up here at this park hopefully we'll be able to stay the night we'll have to show you where we stayed for now it's alongside the river this little stream and it's a very green grassy patch which as i just told you i have missed dearly Justin and I had a wonderful brainstorming session about life and just talking about things on the rooftop deck and it was just really nice to just connect and dream and think about bigger picture goals that we've got in mind that we haven't really been sharing with you guys that we've been really excited about but also incredibly confused by so it's kind of something that we're not ready to share what's happening behind the scenes but anyways time will tell when we do in fact tell other than that we've taken wild and adventurous roads to get here we've passed by windmills and taken mountain roads and we've just been really enjoying the road to get to where we are today and we're just really grateful to finally be here posted up for the night and exploring Utah I'm so last weekend together Justin is gonna be heading back to North Carolina <laughs> And so for now, it's us as a family of three for one last weekend. We're our best friends. We sure are. I love you so much. Azalea's been so fun to hang out with lately. She's been deep in like um, imaginary play. Anyways, I won't bore you with all the shenanigans that's been happening in our lives. Life is majestic. Welcome to the most stressful place in America. Uh, just kidding. Azalea is feeling a little bit high stress right now, but we just packed up, got our gear ready, which takes about two hours. I've been looking through these trails here in the Timpanogos Wilderness area. It's about three and a half miles. It's called the Mill Canyon Trail. <laughs> Look at your hair, dude. I love it. It's very voluminous. So guys, it seems to be a running theme of us losing stuff out the back door of the bus. Paz is trying to figure out where we're going. Azalea is confused why I threw the orange peel out the window. Since yesterday, have been feeling a bit sad about something we lost out the back door. That was our wedding book. So that's a bummer, but I'm trying to like look on the positive side. And after losing my boots in Iceland, I'm really trying to like see this as an opportunity for growth in something that I have a bit of a weakness for, which is just maybe having too much attachment to stuff. Cazalia is still asleep. Okay, for a hike. Where is she? Okay. 
Working with a uh, seven mile trail here. I'm pretty impressed at how far we made it. Probably like a third of the way through going up. So we've still got a ways to go. We're definitely gonna call this place our summit because it's epic. We wanted one last view and it's just so beautiful. Thank you, Utah, for a beautiful welcoming and a fellow reminder of fall, the season, and letting go, changing, growing allowing yourself to kind of just find new rhythm in life. It's all symbolic how everything is happening in this moment for us, I think, so. I looked and watched it bounce down. It was about this close from the edge. <laughs> what did you try to say? Watch you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Justin and Azadia have gone out for a little adventure and I wanted to stay back and just take a minute to journal and write some thoughts down. I've been feeling really sort of confused lately at which trajectory I'm going in life. Anyways, I'm gonna do some journaling. I don't journal every day, but it's just so helpful to have a notebook around just to like sit down and put your thoughts down. And I think emotionally my mind is in turmoil over the wedding book that we lost and it's hard to let go sometimes and accept the changes sort of upon us and change is inevitable everything changes your physical presence your mindset people around you the environment the seasons all of it there's just like constant change there's never one moment where everything is the same even when things feel monotonous there's still different things happening each day it's just the routine within the day that is the same it's really beautiful here it's very peaceful and quiet I'm gonna write While Azalea and I were scoping out a new campsite, we just so happened to stumble across the most beautiful drive you ever did see in your life. And at the end of that drive was a trail that we got about half a mile into and then me and Azalea decided to turn around because we didn't want to experience it without moms. It's these springs that come up out of the ground and these cute little hobbit looking bridges. And anyway, we're gonna go there now. Got it, ready? Perfect, let's go. Out the door, everybody. Boom, let's do it. like we're standing in an area that used to be covered by a glacier. Well Pop, that? thanks for taking me here. It's pretty epic and beautiful and majestic if that is a word that I have used all too often it's because apparently there's a lot of majesticness in life. Yeah, I gotta read this. In case you have to build water cost. There's snails hiding underneath that watercress. Where? Can I see? This is uh, your last couple of months being 31. I feel great.
Beautiful. Say, what, what's that drawing for? That's for people. Yeah, for people? You could say for our patrons. <laughs> <laughs> We finally put the second like hook on the ceiling so I can actually chill again in the hammock. I thought I'd pause just for a second because I wanted to share some stuff with you guys. Brandon from the farm, Wild Words, he gave me this book. It's been really interesting to read it. Justin and I are talking a lot about like our next big like venture, how we can create more community through that. Anyways, so we're just kind of like reading, doing research, and just brainstorming about what that potential vision would manifest itself into in like the physical realm. So one of the things we're talking about is like, we're going to Mexico, and in doing all our travels, we're going to be on a mission to like seek out land with some sort of structure I think already on it. I think we've decided raw land is not going to be what we want to do. We want to fix something up and create community space through learning, inspirational, explorational, just like people coming together to like co-create community. We're dreaming this place up and what it could be, you know, like including all the things that we love to do for me being creative, painting, artist residencies and workshops and you know static dances and cacao ceremonies and just all things kind of more spiritual in that realm yoga and then for justin he's like definitely the one that is so good at running a business and making it efficient and function properly and just so that it's a good experience for everybody so if you guys are interested creating a life together it's the practical tools to grow eco villages and intentional communities it's unbelievable staying in places like this. I wish we had like a wee boost so that we could have signal here, but being 45 minutes away from town, and we've got a school that we have to visit for Azalea. We've got a meeting at like six o'clock in the morning. It's just gonna be really tough being in an area like this with no signal. I think we're gonna go and try and find a campground a little bit closer to town to post up for the last few days while I'm here. And so yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of digging while the girls make Cranberry pecan oat balls, flaxseed balls, bites. energy bites. Okay, well, Pops does that. Let's go make our energy bites. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Good. How do we make it? So Azalea decided she wanted to make the recipe that's on the back of this, and I said, let's do it. Except we don't have chocolate chips, so we're improvising. Now it says to do one cup instead of chocolate chips. Yeah. Okay. It in there. <laughs> the queen of just eating all the ingredients before we even know the thing that we're making. We got no honey because it, it broke everywhere. Oh my god, it's getting so it's nice and tight. Hello! Hello today! It's a morning today! Our spray video pop. Why are you dunking, Mom? Why are you dunking? weekend. Tomorrow is a busy day, hey? We drove down that mountain though and got set up. We wanted to be closer to town so we could have internet. Not drive down that mountain, baby. You crushed it. Yeah, I've been the ladder a little bit. Whoops. Hopefully we can fix it, yeah? There was a car that was broke down that had to be towed up the mountain that was coming the opposite direction and so it slowed a lot of people down. But we made it down in one piece. That's the most important part. Mom, I can put it on bubbles. 
Yeah. You want help? It's my time to go. I gotta help us later get clean. I'm gonna jump in the shower too and start this week out with a clear head and just like good mindset. All right, we will catch you guys next time and who knows? We'll be doing separate things, babes. You can be beekeeping. Next time you guys see us, we'll be in different states, different time zones even. Zay, it's gonna be two weeks, just me and you. Are you ready? All right, we'll catch you guys next week with new life vibe. A new booty. A new, a new booty. New booty. We'll see you next week on the new booty. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye. See you guys next time. See you next, next time. Azalea. <laughs> That's the morning coffee face. <laughs> Crazy girl. Mom, is it it sure is. <laughs> is it night time? It's not night time, it's morning. It's tricky to see through these bug screens, but it's quite the view. <laughs> <laughs>